Welcome to Cooking with Cameron, Cameron John the Fathering Channel. Great to have you along. Time to open up. Time to get into the kitchen. Let's have a go at a pineapple chicken. Well, g'day, Dads. It's great to have you back in the kitchen. It's uh, it's it's so much fun doing these videos for you, and. Uh, Hope you do enjoy them. But anyway, this week, I was searching through, looking for something special, something different. And I found a recipe on Facebook, and it was this eight hour pineapple chicken. And I thought, well, that looks interesting. I'll just read some of the comments first. There wasn't one positive thing about it. In fact, there was even a connection to a Snoops video, Snoops link, snoops.com, that it was a fake recipe. But it gave me some inspiration. Now we can do this one in about, oh, about 30 minutes cooking. That's better than eight hours. But the whole point of this one was you just dump some ch chicken in, dump some pineapple juice into it, throw it in the slow cooker, eight hours later come back and it's meant to look all this beautiful golden brown and it yeah, didn't look, make sense. So this is my variation on it. So, I've got one and a half kilos of chicken, some honey, tin of crushed pineapple, some soy, a little bit of sweet ginger, and then we're gonna put some veggies in right at the very end. So I'm just gonna cut up some capsicum, throw some corn in there, and might even throw some uh, carrot in there just to get it. And then we're gonna serve it on rice. So this is something also that you can prep beforehand, leave it in the, put it into its pot, and uh, just reheat it later tonight. So I'm actually making this in the morning, because I know I've got a heap of stuff on this afternoon, so it just means it's gonna be nice and simple. So let's tin of pineapple juice or put crushed pineapple. Now it's probably about a quarter of a cup of soy, quarter of a cup again, sweet chili. You can add whatever flavors, you know, measure, measure the taste. And let's call that a quarter of a cup as well. So it's gonna be a real nice sweetness to it. Soy's gonna give us that salty, bit of salt. And the sweet chili, just a little bit of zing. Now I made this the other day, my kids loved it. They're not a spicy fans, but they loved it. Now. If you want to get your kids involved, and they're still a little bit young to use really sharp knives, scissors. Instead of chopping up the chicken, now what I want to do is just cut them up into bite-sized pieces. This is a way you can get your kids involved. Give them a pair of scissors, chop it up. Well, right here, dads. That took about 10 minutes to cut up. You'd probably do it sharp faster with a knife, but yeah, it is what it is. So, let's see, give that a quick mix. Not too stressed about how much fat's in it. That's beautiful. Now, I'm just gonna set that aside for about half hour. I'm gonna lay it up on some, you can cook it two ways. The first way, I'm, the way I'm gonna do it now, I'm gonna lay it up on some oven trays. I'm gonna throw it in the oven, and I'm gonna line those trays, because I wanna catch the juices, because we're gonna cook that down at the end. So I'm gonna cook it in the oven for about 25 minutes, at about 180, 190 degrees. Then we're gonna take it out, 
and I'm gonna quickly just fry it off just to crisp up the outside edges in a fry pan. So I'll come back and talk to you once I pull it out of the oven. We're right here, Dad. Alarm's gone off, let's get them out. Now, I always find the chicken, when you pull it out of the oven like that, looks a bit pale, doesn't quite look right. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna quickly fry it off. Just, and I'm also gonna put a little bit of golden syrup on there, just a little bit, you can put the honey on there, but this one pours easy. So we're gonna do it this way. Once that fry pan's hot, it's only a very quick thing, and I'm gonna keep the juices, and then we're gonna cook it all down again. Cook the juices down separately. Starting to get some color in that chicken now. Just doing it in batches because I don't want to over, like for the pan to go cold. Well, right here, Dad's done three, the three trays. Got some beautiful colour on that. Just gonna put that in the pot. Now, you might have noticed I was putting all the juices back into the original marinade. Don't worry, when yes, we are mixing the marinade, cooked chicken and all that right, but it's now all gonna be cooked down. Okay, so, a little bit of cornstarch. We're gonna bring that to the boil. And we're gonna reduce it by about half till it starts to thicken up. Okay. The pineapple in there will start to caramelize a bit. Now while that's happening, I'm just going to push that to the side. I can keep an eye on it there. Now, some frozen corn. Maybe about half a cup, good handful. Now, I'm not cooking these veggies, because this is just going to sit in there. In essence, it's going to cook itself. Now we're only going to do half a caps. but I want it finely sliced. Now I've got half a large carrot. Again, we want these in small dice bits. All that carrots cut, all those veggies are cut. The residual heat is what's actually gonna cook all those veggies. Just soften them up a bit. Ooh, yum. And you know what, I reckon that's done. I'm happy with that. So that's a nice, thick, caramelized sauce. Pour that back over the chicken mix. Oh 
Oh yeah. Well, that's that's it. That's done. Now I'm just going to let that sit. I'm going to put a lid on it. I'm going to let that sit there till tonight. Reheat it. Cook up some rice. Serve it up. Pineapple chicken on rice. The kids are going to love it. The wife's going to love it. Super tasty, full of flavours. Over to you. Have a go. Take some photos. Stick them up on social media. Hashtag cooking with Cameron. Hashtag fathering channel. Love to see what you're doing. Love to see what your creations you're coming up with. Till next time, dads. Keep being great dads. Mm. See you soon.